Hello, my name is Marcus Bocott. This video is in addition to existing color course material. In this video, we are going to introduce you to a new wheel. This new wheel is called the CMY wheel. CMY stands for Cyan, Magenta and Yellow. This wheel is used by painters, it's used by graphic designers, textile artists. If you plan on studying in one of these fields, or if you plan on working in one of these fields, you'll want to know all about this wheel. It has become increasingly popular since this series was first made. The color wheel on which this course is based has been used to make great paintings. Artists such as Monet and Renoir, Matisse, all use this wheel. The invention in the early 1800s of heat-treated mineral pigments created a color revolution. In the 1850s, Chevreul developed a wheel based on cadmium red, cadmium yellow, and cobalt blue, the old familiar primaries of red, yellow, and blue. As a result of the invention of mineral colors, artists like the Impressionists and Van Gogh in particular were able to paint spontaneously with intense color. They did not have to rely on building up their paintings and developing the color using thin layers of translucent paint. When we add white to mineral colors, they tend to become grayer. A second color revolution occurred in the early 1950s. Developments in organic chemistry resulted for the first time in the creation of synthetic color. When we add white to synthetic colors, they tend to become even more intense. They certainly do not lose their intensity. One new color in particular, quinacridone red, led to the development of a new color wheel. You can see examples of cyan, magenta, yellow and black on the registration marks of advertising. You can also see cyan, magenta, yellow, and black on your computer printer cartridges. Let's take a look at a four-color printing sample. This image is made up of four color overlays. First, we remove the black layer. Here is the cyan sheet. Here is an intense red car, and we can see a range of red tones. But let's see what this red is made of. Here's a sheet of magenta and another sheet of yellow. Together, these two sheets produce a range of reds. When we compare the cyan, magenta, and yellow wheel with the red, yellow, and blue wheel, we can see that this color, magenta, is missing from the red, yellow, and blue wheel. In the new wheel, red is no longer a primary color. Using the new wheel, if you mix between a primary and its exact opposite secondary, you will achieve a neutral gray. With the old system, you'll get muted, desaturated colors, but you will not get grays. Another example of the modern system's accuracy is that it dovetails perfectly with additive color. Cyan, magenta, and yellow, the subtractive primaries, become the secondaries when we are working with light. The primaries of light, red, green, and blue-violet, are termed RGB. This magenta light is made by overlapping red light with blue-violet light. This cyan is formed by the overlap of green and blue-violet lights. Yellow is produced by red and green light. Together, these three primaries add up to give white light. The neat dovetailing of the RGB additive and the CMY subtractive systems prove that the CMY wheel is accurate and useful. The cyan, magenta, and yellow wheel will help you deal with the new, intense, modern pigments and expand on the concepts you've learned in this course. You can work with complementaries, warm cold color contrast, light dark color contrast, discords, and chromatic grays. 
I will now briefly run through some examples of how the CMY wheel works in relation to these different units. Refer to the wheel and the color examples as you work through these different sections. Also, refer to the wheel as you watch this DVD for reference. A key principle when mixing colors is that we get the most intense colors when we use pigments adjacent to one another on the color wheel. Here is a green that is made by using two colors that are close to each other on the color wheel. This green, thalo green, mixed with lemon yellow. In contrast, this green, a more desaturated green, has been mixed by using colors farther apart on the color wheel. We have an ultramarine blue mixed with cadmium yellow pale. We can see that the adjacent pigments give a much more intense green than the two pigments that are farther apart. These colors which are farther apart give a much muddier and grayed down version. In unit one, you can experiment by making a wide range of warmer and cooler colors by mixing in adjacent pigments. You can also experiment with adding other colors in order to make diminished pigments. Here, we see a harmonic range around sections of the CMY wheel. And here, we see a group of red and magenta variations suitable for unit one. In contrast, these colors are made with pigments that are farther apart on the color wheel. They are more desaturated. Here are two examples of how a range of analogous colors can be used in painting. In this painting by James Linfield, we primarily see a harmonic range of warm and cool greens. In this other painting, I used a range of magentas and reds. Now let's take a look at complementary pairs. Complementary pairs occur at the end of unit one and in unit two. You can proceed by placing a pencil on a color wheel and mixing the colors that the pencil points to at both ends. This will give you the major complementary pairs of green in relation to rose matter conacridone red, orange red in relation to thalo blue, and mid-yellow in relation to blue-violet. Make sure your darker colors have a good deal of white added into them in order to get maximum intensity and complementary contrast. The colors in these pairs have a complementary relationship to one another. That is, they increase each other's saturation when placed near one another. We can increase the power of these effects by using even more temperature contrast. We can make the magenta cooler by adding in its neighbor, violet. We can make the green warmer by adding in its neighbor, yellow. In order to make a warm magenta, add cadmium red to rose matter quinacridone red. Don't forget to add white. The corresponding complement will be thalo green. Again, do not forget to add white. This painting, titled Comes a Time, is based on complementary pairs using the CMY wheel. We can adjust colors warmer and cooler by adding in neighboring colors. We can achieve an intense and subtle range of complementary pairs using the CMY wheel.